So I'm trying to come up with a way to have a nice soft sleeping area when I go on a cross-country trip and instead of taking a bulky comforter I got this idea that I would get these movers blankets from Harbor Freight which I think were like four dollars after a 20% coupon each and put this foam pad that I have in between two of them and I started using the foam pad to sleep on but it started to if I got it snagged on anything it would actually start to tear so I wanted to put that inside and I don't have a way of sewing because I don't sew uh, although I do want to learn how because it would be kind of convenient in a lot of situations but I was thinking if I took these grommets and actually punched them through two of these mover blankets on top of each other and then did it along the bottom of one of these and left the top open I could take this foam mattress out or pad out and wash the whole thing if I needed to it should wash fairly well um, but for eight dollars plus a couple of dollars for these grommets um, and I think the grommets would probably rust if I washed it, but for eight dollars I really don't care and I'm not going to wash it that often. I think I'm going to give this a shot. So I will trim this thing down and see what I come up with. Okay, so I did the one and it does work. It's kind of a pain in the butt really, but um, I think instead of going every 6 to 12 inches maybe I'll put it out I don't know maybe every 18 inches and see how that works out for me the whole point is only to hold it together and not really for any other reason so I'll show you how I go ahead and do this um, I'm not gonna really measure it out I don't really care about the spacing too much but all I do is take a small screwdriver and find the location I want it poke it through both of them after I have them tight and spaced out evenly together. Better do that again. Get my starter hole going. And not only are you poking through the, the top layer of fabric, it's uh, kind of like a weed block. It's what it seems like, so it's not real sturdy. Um, and then just kind of pull out the stretch out the hole and take the it's going to be on the top this part here and then the bottom section will be this part here and first what I'll do is put it through the bottom one and stretch the fabric around it and then find the hole for the top one, stretch the fabric around that one, take the top section, put it on, I've got my uh, railroad tie anvil here, and then, and by the way, the, the grommet comes with this tool here, and, and the point of this is to put it on this thick plastic, you put uh, whatever you're pounding on underneath, you take this and you're supposed to beat on it until it cuts through, but uh, I already tried and it really doesn't cut through this fabric very well, so I don't even bother with that, I just make my own holes uh, my way. So then you take the bottom plate, which goes underneath the one part of the grommet, and then this here goes on the top part of the grommet, and you always use a mallet when you're doing this. Just kind of beat on it. And you can see that it just curls the edges around and keeps it in place. So now you've got the two pieces are joined together. And that's what I'm going to do all the way around. So 
So here's the finished product. I've got the grommets all the way around and we start at the top and go down all the way to the end. And it pretty much was square all the way around. I was kind of surprised for a Harbor Freight product, but uh, both pieces were pretty much almost identical. And it's nice that I left the openings in between here because uh, it'll make it a lot easier get the pad in and out and situate it inside of this since uh, it doesn't move freely inside there. But one thing that I did notice, I took this tag off and it clearly says do not machine wash or dry. So I obviously won't be throwing this in the washer, but at the same time, since it is kind of made, or it is made from, it, it almost seems like a softer version of uh, weed block like I mentioned earlier so it should be relatively easy to clean if I get dirty but the whole point of it is something to throw in the back of the Jeep and uh, something comfy to sleep on so hopefully it'll work out. So here it is rolled up and it's about as compact as I thought it would be. It's not uh, overly large where I can't stuff it somewhere out of the way if I need to but with the mattress pad inside of it, I'm actually kind of surprised it's not bigger. And I've just got some elastic straps holding it down, or holding it together. But uh, it came out fairly well, and it should be pretty comfy for the trip. So all in all, it worked out. So please like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.